Hey YouTube, letting you get a little bit of a look at this uh, 55, quite a bit of it has been scraped and I'd like to talk a little bit about the tools that I've used in this operation. Um, regular old razor knife is pretty handy getting in the corners and around the edges. Of course, your uh, <clears throat> razor blade, straight razor. And uh, this one is one that might not get uh, talked about very much, but this is a hook blade. It's mostly used for cutting shingles on a roofing application. But as you can see, it's got a nice little hook, and then it is razor sharp inside that hook. And it allows you to get into the uh, um, <clears throat> caulking itself and pull and cut it quite a bit. Another thing that doesn't get talked about too much, this is a husky tool. It is made for silicon. It has a little uh, uh, <clears throat> flattening out piece on the end that is soft rubber. And... Uh, I probably won't use that portion of it for my mine because I'm going to put mine in a little thicker than the, the edge of this will allow. But this has a very interesting um, corner tool which is used to pull silicone out. And as long as you're not too rough with it and as far as uh, wedging it against the glass and banging it against the glass, it will effectively cut silicone out of a corner and it also has this little scraper and this tool is designed to be used with silicone uh, silicone caulk that has been used and silicone caulk that you are in the process of using and uh, it's something you might think about you can use the scraper to scrape the silicone off the sides you can use this to dig it out of the corners and it's pretty darn handy also I thought I'd get a little bit of uh, footage of this finished rack sorry the lighting is probably not the very best but you kinda get an idea of how it is put together um, the ways that I have used my screws and uh, I'm slightly out of level side to side on on the shelving itself but I still have to deal with the uh, slope of the floor in the bedroom and uh, I think I'm going to be able to get it to work out just right of course it does not have the shelves this piece of plywood itself you can see some of the lines drawn on it that's the shelving itself and it is five eighths kind of hard to see there but you can see that it's five eighths it's tongue and groove so i'll have to cut those grooves off and i've also got a little bit of uh, <clears throat> cord around that i'm going to use to wrap the face of it there's the uh, polyacrylic polyacrylic minwax that i used and i used a weenie roller to uh, apply this stuff let's see and there's the frame of a weenie roller and you can the i don't have the the pad itself is inside because i washed it and it's and it dried um but uh, that polycrylic is water-based so you can just use a roller and then uh, and the roller gives you a really quick way to uh, to cover cover this stuff um, it's kind of hard to see because it is clear but there is at least one and really two heavy coats you can see how this frame is put together how it has the braces between the shelves and the shelf above it and the shelf below it and it also goes down on the ground and I'm just giving you a short video here to kind of uh, give you a little uh, 
peek at this shelf before I head off to Peru. It's, uh, it's quite the uh, piece of construction, and it is probably more well-made than most people's idea of an aquarium rack. But I really, uh, you can get kind of a picture of the, how flat it is across the top. Anyway, I'm just trying to give you an idea. I, I also wanted to uh, give you guys a shot at what this tank is looking like. As you can see, most of it's out, but I do still have some cleaning that I'm going to use alcohol to rub down the corners and I've still got a little bit of stuff to get out of the corners before I can seal it. I'm way behind. It may not even happen until I get back from Peru, but I'm thinking that that will probably work out. All right, good luck YouTube. The next time you see me, I will have been in the air. Um, I may be in Houston uh, interviewing a special someone and uh, talking to him. But uh, it may be Peru before you uh, see anything from me again. I'm filming this on my wife's Galaxy Samsung tablet. She's uh, allowing me to take it with me. And that will help me as far as uh, offloading videos and uploading videos while I'm gone. Good luck, YouTube.